Google's AI offering Gemini, which is only yet available. The chat GPT, but can Google's new model take them? Google unveiling long-awaited new details around its large language model. To have ushered in a new era of AI. And is believed to be the first AI model to score more than 90% accuracy. Rolling out its own version of artificial intelligence, it's the company's answer to chat GPT. It's all about chat GPT versus Gemini. What is going to happen? Here comes the new AI model which was launched by Google and it is named as Gemini. It is seen as the competitor for GPT-4 and also it is trained in the way that it can operate it using text, images, videos and audio. Look at this video so that you will understand what I am trying to tell you. Here we go. Tell me what you see. I see you placing a piece of paper on the table. I see a squiggly line. What about now? The contour lines are smooth and flowing, with no sharp angles or jagged edges. It looks like a bird to me. Hmm, what if I add this? The bird is swimming in the water. It has a long neck and beak. It is a duck. Yes! A Gemini comes with three variants. One is Nano, Pro and Ultra. Nano version is embedded on mobile devices and the Pro version is the general purpose model and Ultra is the main competitor of GPT-4. And Gemini is launched in US and it is integrated with the BART AI chatbot and people in US says that it is not good as GPT-4. The version integrated with BART AI is Gemini Pro. When it comes to the benchmark, Gemini Pro performs less than the GPT-4 while the Ultra performs extremely well. So here you can see some of the benchmarks which I got from the official website of Google. And here you can see the LSWAX benchmark is lesser than GPT-4. So let me explain you L what this LSWAG is. LSWAG is nothing but understanding the humans better. For example, Ramesh is a dash boy. Here you expect that uh, sentence to be completed as Ramesh is a good boy. But Gemini Ultra will not give the answer good boy there. It will give some other answer. That is, this is what is LSWAG is. You will think of a some other word, but it will suggest you other word. So understanding between the Gemini Ultra and the human is not good as GPT-4 and the humans. This is what is LSWAG is. And also there is a main benchmark that is to be tested that is known as MMMU. That is Massive Multidiscipline Multimodal Understanding. So the Massive Multidiscipline Multimodal Understanding is designed to evaluate multimodal models. It has up to 11.5k multimodal questions from college exams, quizzes, textbooks and six main core disciplines like art and design, bis business, science, health and medicine, humanities and social science and tech and engineering. So basically what it does is it has various questions collected from various college exams and uh, other resources. So these questions will be given as an input in the AI model and they will see whether the output given is right or not. On that way, Gemini Ultra performs very well and scores 59.4 percentage. Um, if you look at the GPT Force score, it is 56 percentage. So here you can see the difference between GPT-4 and Gemini Ultra. It has 3.4 percentage better score than GPT-4. So here comes the main thing, how they train this AI model. If you are building an AI model, there is a certain things that has to be done. Let me explain you. So basically if you are building an AI model, there are certain steps that will help you to build the AI model. For example, first of all, you have to define a goal. What is your goal and what are you going to do with that AI model? Then you have to gather the data and clean it. This is the work of a data scientist. And then according to your purpose, you have to create your algorithm and then you have to train the algorithm. So here the training is the important process. And the other last thing is deploy the final product. So this is a process which is carried out to build an AI model. So let us look at how this Gemini Ultra is trained. Google trained Gemini Ultra using TPUs, which is known as Tensor Processing Units. So these TPUs are known as AI accelerators, which speeds up the process of training. And the TPU used for training Gemini Ultra is V5P, which is the most powerful and efficient processor. And the TPUs are used to handle deep learning tasks. So if you ask me what TPU does GPT-4 uses, 
I will say it doesn't use any TPUs. It uses GPUs. It uses Nvidia's A100 GPUs. So why Google didn't use any of the GPUs? Even GPT-4 is running in a GPU, but they prefer to use the TPU. It is because TPUs has higher bandwidth than the GPUs. So a AI model has to undergo lot of tensor operations. TPUs are better performer in handling the tensor operations. So they prefer the TPU more than a GPU. So higher bandwidth is needed to perform tensor operations. That's why a TPU is used to train this AI model. So this helps Google to train the AI model very faster and in an efficient way. So this is all about the Google's AI model Gemini. It really looks impressive on paper. Let's see how it performs on the real life. Leave a like and share this content with your friends so that they too get benefited and subscribe to our channel so that you may not miss any of the YouTube videos I am posting here. With an another informative content, let me see you on another one. Thank you.